So for Tokaso, right, it's only for uh yeah. for for uh what do I call it? A right angle triangle. Uh, okay. Yeah. It, it, I mean Tokaso applies to right angle triangle. So that's something you want yeah. you want to take note of. Okay? It doesn't apply to other uh so it's only for uh right angle triangle. Mm -hmm. Alright. So um yeah. yes. And then um we can actually okay so tokaso is usually um used in in conjunction with the pythagoras theorem okay because Pythag pythagoras theorem only works for right angle triangle as well okay okay so i hope you can see my cursor as well so you know uh, where you should pay attention to yeah, yeah okay good okay good so now we can flip to the next page yeah, I'm flipping to page two of your this um yeah your this um word file. So what I see is yes, they continue to talk about this uh what um H A O I think it's continue like Kokaso. So probably I need to flip to another page, the next page which is page three. So page three they start to talk about the quadrant stuff, right? Yeah. Okay, good. So, do you understand from here onwards? Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because it's just, mm -hmm. you're looking at the intermediate, right? Uh, I'm looking at page the... 3 of 9. Uh, I'm looking at this trigonometry 1. Which, which one you are talking about? Uh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay, got it. I see. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay. Let me just space them out uh, because yeah, they are they are on top of each other. So probably you don't. So which one you're looking at now? Oh, uh, I'm looking at the the one where is where there is like the different tangent theta y over x. Okay. On like uh, x and y axis. Never mind. Let me just move this to. Uh, let me just move this. Uh, this word file okay i'm moving this just this word file alone so yeah okay i see your your cursor hovering already yeah so you should be looking at page three of this um this word file and you should be looking at first quadrant and second quadrant can you see like first quadrant and second quadrant yeah okay good yeah so you should be looking at this so you have questions on this page mm, well um a bit okay yes all right so from from the way you answer i can tell yes uh, uh not yeah, yeah. not not a bit um a lot okay so yeah. let me just take a look at the next page before i talk about this so i need to get some context okay good done okay so i'm not going to use your materials to teach you uh the quadrant thing i'm going to just use my way of teaching you the quadrant concept okay. okay so um sine angle let, let's use theta is equal to something so let's say it's half and then uh sine angle theta is equal to negative half okay let's make life easy for us i don't want to play with half i want to play with probably just um it's half Okay, half, half, half is good enough. Okay, half is easy enough. So, okay, so in a way, right? You the 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 funny thing is sometimes when you have sine theta, you can have a positive value, and then you have the sine theta, you can have a negative value. Okay, so the whether it's a positive value or whether it's a negative value, it depends what's the what's your theta. Okay. All right. Okay. So, um, and in fact, when you have sine theta equals to half over here, you are supposed to have two values of theta. So actually, right, if you want to get um sine theta equals to half, so you are supposed to have two values of theta. Okay. Usually, what we think of is okay. Uh, sine theta equals to half. We we are supposed to get just one answer. It's not. It's not yeah. the case here. It's not the case here. Okay. So why? Why is not the case here? Okay. The reason is the reason is when you talk about 
um angles right so i'm going to draw the three the, the 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 four quadrants right now right here okay so you have these four quadrants so this is called the uh quadrant a then this is called all sign this is a uh, sign quadrant so let me just so this is sine, all sign tangent, tangent quadrant tangent and, and this is uh, uh cosine right? cosine okay this is all yeah. okay so before we look at how we find the theta okay before we talk about how to find the theta in this case sine theta equal to half and we are supposed to get uh, theta 1 and theta 2. So before we talk about how to get it, so we need to understand the quadrant thing first. Okay, so for each quadrant, right, there is a formula. There is a formula. So for the all, right, okay. the formula is theta equals to alpha. And alpha refers to the basic angle here. Oh yeah, Amber, it's called, mm -hmm. uh, the alpha they use is called an inference angle. Uh, uh, you can call it the reference angle or okay it's okay oh, like uh, the name does not matter much so to me alpha is the basic angle okay so mm, in my okay. in my words it's called the basic angle okay? okay okay and the theta and the theta here is the the theta one and theta two you are referring to yeah okay mm. so later we will see how this basic angle and theta and 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 this um they are linked together and uh, and, and how you how you are supposed to solve it okay so for sine right for sine the formula is theta equals to 180 degree minus basic angle okay oh, okay or oh, later we will talk about it so okay. you just need to remember okay uh, the quadrant you have four quadrant all sine tangent cosine you have four quadrant and then each quadrant you have a formula and i'm writing down the formula for you right now so you yeah, go to 180 plus alpha and the last one is theta is equal to 360 minus basic angle alpha okay so you have to memorize this okay so With, without knowing this you um, can't do questions okay okay it's just like a like distance is equal to speed times time if you don't know distance is equal to speed times time then you can't solve distance speed questions already all right okay. Okay, so basically, mm. this is something you need to like note down and memorize. Okay. Okay. So mm. next. So also all this, they say all sine tan and tangent and cosine, right? Mm -hmm. So these are all the they say like is positive. Or oh, something? okay. I have not moved on to that one. Okay, so I just okay. want to give you a. Uh, I have not moved on to that one. That is the next part of what I'm going to talk about. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Mm, good. So now, because you see, ah, uh, it's kind of confusing because there are too many concepts, uh, for this trigonometry. So I want to um, I want to take apart all these concepts and I want to see how all these concepts they can be uh integrated together and solve questions. So it's you need to have is is you need to have a goal like is like a goal specific if i i don't give you a goal and i just talk about the concepts right you can't see how they are linked together that's always the problem also okay, okay? so um let's see how we can use this quadrant with the formulas to solve sine theta equal to half all right okay. so i'm going to solve let me just move lower okay so first thing the first step actually is where it's it's a very methodical uh you just follow you just follow the steps you know step one step two step three step four and then you get the answer oh, so like it's just like the binomial theorem uh, yes yes okay so yeah okay. good that you raise uh the binomial theorem okay they are somewhat similar in the approach mm. so i think okay. if you look at the formula of binomial binomial theorem right i think yeah so it's all just put in the brackets then put in mm -hmm, the numbers mm -hmm. in. but at first i think it looks uh, very daunting to you like you don't understand yeah. what what the formula is about but yeah uh with the question and with 
uh, the solutions then you can see how you can apply that so I'm going to like teach you in the same way for trigonometry as well so let me start okay so the question is sine theta is half so yeah. step one is sine this is sine positive half right yes so sine theta is positive half okay i'm going to be um i'm going to be a bit long-winded i will write out all all things at first but when you when you start to um get the hang of it right then i will try to speed up and try to um to to, to uh, remove the, the the small little details okay and just okay. get the accents so right now i am going to write down all the uh, specific small details okay so over here step one sign uh, angle theta is positive half right mm. so in a way right sine theta is positive okay then step two is what step two is since sine theta is positive then you have to decide which quadrant decide which is in quadrant oh. okay so I for sine positive is which quadrant steps. yeah can you make a guess uh it is uh sine positive is in the second quadrant is is it actually two quadrants oh okay yep it's the all and the sine Oh yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, oh, it's positive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Done. Okay. Good. So now let's move down. So decide which quadrant. Okay. So two quadrants, the sine quadrant and the all quadrant. Right. Okay. I should write the all first. Okay. For the all quadrant, what's the formula? Theta equals to basic angle. Equals to in yeah. And then for the sine is theta equals to 180 minus basic nice angle. angle. Okay, that's okay. the reason why I say you have to memorize the quadrant plus the formulas in the quadrant. All right. Okay. okay. Step three. Now comes the step three. I'm going to use a different color. So step three is you have to solve this <coughs> sine angle theta equal to half. How? How? Oh, my step, uh, my step three. I so should, I should put below step two, which is here. Is it like um? So angle theta is equal to sine inverse one. I mean, it's sine inverse. Then you just key this into your calculator. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So theta is equal to. Also, uh, equal to uh, I thought it was thirty, right? Yeah, um, I think it's thirty. Thirty. 30. Okay, so it's thirty. Yeah, I check. Very good. Okay. Oh, so. Then so so uh -huh. this is your basic angle. No, 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 Okay, don't, 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 uh, don't go further than uh, where you are supposed to be. Okay, so just follow the step. So you have theta equals to 30, right? Now, you ask yourself. You, this is from calculator, by the way. Yay, calculator. Okay, okay. Later. Okay, so now you ask yourself, the 30 degree from the calculator, where do you think the 30 degree is? Which quadrant? This 30 degree... Which uh, quadrant um, is 30 degree from? Should be quite easy, right? Is it a sine quadrant? Oh, so in a way, you have to know the, the range of each quadrant. Very good. So, this quadrant is from, so this is 0 degree, this is 90 degree, this is 180 degree, this is 270 degree, and then, of course, this is either 0 or 260 degree. Okay, it depends how you look at it. So now, so 30 degree is which, which region? Oh, so it's in all. Oh, uh, the all region, region, right? Very good. Yeah. So, let's go down. Answer ourselves. Which so quadrant is, is 30 in, from? Uh, so, which quadrant is 30 from? Uh, it's first quadrant. Very good. So, which is the... Okay. We don't use first, second, third, fourth. We use all sine, oh. tangent, or... Yeah. So, start to, start to uh, use this convention. Okay. So, 
okay. can use so basically what so i don't need to write this down i just write down okay so theta equals to 30 is from the all region or quadrant mm. sorry okay done yeah okay good okay so if you 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 make this statement right theta 30 degrees from all quadrant okay good then that means theta equals to 30 should be should be written below the or here so in this case uh, theta equals to 30 is also equal to alpha because okay. that's the formula yeah does it make sense? Oh, so then you just sub in the alpha into this sign. Correct. Right? Hold on. Okay, don't 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 jump. Huh? I, okay, good good attempt. Good attempt. Good attempt. Let me just um uh, um rewrite so that I have space. Good attempt. So sign. The sign is uh, theta is equal to hundred eighty minus alpha. Okay. So since the calculator theta equal to thirty. Okay. Uh gives you the hint is from this uh, all region or quadrant that's why you, you you wrote this down right just now yeah okay so now you know the angle alpha which is the basic angle is 30 because of the formula here right so therefore you can actually uh, make use of the alpha so therefore the this is actually your theta one this is actually your theta two so your theta 2 is equal to 180 minus the alpha, which is 30 degree in this case. So you get 150 degrees. So these are the two answers for the theta. Given sine theta equals a half. So therefore, we just uh, just sum it up. Step 4. So sine angle theta is equal to half. Okay, I, I know I'm a bit long-winded here, but this is the first... First yeah, attempt here. Right, so we, we, yeah. we need to be long winded. Okay. So or like the, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Good. Okay. Good. So mm. yeah yeah. Okay. So then like you know, before I learned this, I've been like doing the sine theta equals half into like like just inverse sine. Yeah. So, and like, you I'm only get one answer. Much. You only get one answer. Yeah. Okay. But in oh. in mathematics, okay, I think in additional mathematics, right? Um, in fact, you get multiple answers. Okay, and when you stop, it depends on the question. Okay, I'm going to talk about that now. Okay, I'm going to talk about that now. Okay, so that's how we get uh the theta for this question. Okay. Mm. Okay, so I think over here is pretty clear. Okay. By the way, this whiteboard is your whiteboard. So different student gets their own whiteboard. So, uh, you just have to uh, um, bookmark this link. You can always come back to this, and I'm not good because this this whiteboard is a uh, infinity whiteboard. Like I just need to move to somewhere else, and then I can have a white space for me to write on. So in a way, right? I I don't I don't need to remove the 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 the, the whatever I've I've written here. So you can always come back here and then look look at the work I've done. And then uh, you can uh, take notes as you wish. Okay. Okay. Just... All right. Okay. okay. Good. So now I'm going to. So you know how you can actually make use of the quadrant, the formula in the quadrant, and uh, to solve questions already. Uh, After this okay. example. <clears throat> okay. So let's try out sine theta is equal to negative half okay okay so probably what's the step one can you still remember step one yeah so uh, ah. step one is to decide what quadrant it is uh right? be before you decide you need to write oh, down some statement first is, whether it's positive or negative correct so in this case sine theta, theta is, is negative. negative so if Negative, so yeah, you decide. So, which quadrant? Uh, it is in tangent quadrant yep. and cosine quadrant. Ten and cosine. Cosine. Yep. Okay. So for ten, what's the formula? Ten is one eighty plus uh alpha. Very good. Then cosine is three sixty minus alpha. Very good. Okay. 
So this is our step two. Can you still remember the step three? Uh, step three uh, is the... Um, use calculator. Yeah. Yeah, use calculator okay. to get the... Calculator to get the... One of the data. Mm. So, right. how do you do it? It's angle theta equals to sine inverse negative half. So, what's the answer? I hope you are following, huh? Yeah, yeah. Mm, good. I am. Mm, good. You can write down the answer so you don't have to speak to me because you can also um, get involved. Uh, it is. Oh. Okay. Are you using an iPad or what? No, I'm using my, my computer. Mouse. Yeah, mouse. Or why you don't yeah, use an yeah. iPad? I I didn't think of that. Like because if you sure. don't use your iPad, you don't have a pencil for you to um, participate. Huh? And the, mm. the way you write your negative 30 here is uh, by, by your mouse is... Okay, you cannot, cannot, cannot. It's okay. So okay. second half, please get, get your iPad ready and just... You can actually log into this uh, session also. Okay? Without, okay. without, uh, without uh, pausing your this, um, your this session with your laptop. So basically you just... You can lock in multiple with multiple devices. Okay, anyway, so you get negative 30, right? Okay, so mm. this is the, this is the thing here. Okay. So when you get negative value, okay. So um okay, I personally don't like to play with negative value. Okay, unless I'm forced to. If I have an opportunity to play with positive value, I I use positive value. Okay? So this is the interesting thing here. If we go back to the quadrant, okay, negative 30, you know negative 30, right, degree, is also your, so if this is zero, right, so if this is positive 30, do you know that this, this one is negative 30? Down. So this is negative 30. This is positive 30. Do you know that? Um, oh, do you know that? Wait, um, kind of. Okay, because because this is zero, you move up. It's, it's plus oh, thirty, positive. right? But now okay. in this case you move down, then it's it's negative thirty. Does it make sense? Mm. Okay, does it make sense? So in a way, right, your this negative 30, okay? So in a way, your negative 30, uh, actually, uh, if you look at it, uh, you look at it from another perspective, it's from here until here. What is this angle, by the way? Um, it's 360 minus 30. Exactly, so it's 330, right? Very good, very good. So in a way, right, Negative 30 is also equal to 330 degree. Okay. okay, actually, right, strictly speaking, they are not equal. Okay, strictly speaking, these two are negative 30 degree is equal to 330 degree, right? I think it's kind of like hard for you to intuitively accept it. You just can't because it doesn't make sense. What the minus 30 is equal to 330? No, they are so far away, right? Right? Intuitively, you can't yeah. accept it, okay? But, how I convince students, negative 30 is also equal to 330 because they point to the same position. So in a way, right, they point to the same position. Okay? Okay. Okay? okay. So in, in um, when we talk about angles, uh, when we talk about angles in uh, trigonometry, right, um, we talk about the position, okay? Mm. Are you convinced now? Yeah. Okay, so in a way, right, let me ask you again. 
okay, but we, we, we are talking about angles in these uh, four quadrants now. Huh? So now, if I give you another quadrant. Okay, so this is zero degree. Okay, so if I ask you, zero degree is here, right? This position, right? Yeah. What about, that's why I call this position also 260 degree. Do you know why? Because they point to the same, same, same thing. Over here, right? Yeah. Over here, right? And do you know that 720, they also point to the same position? Oh, yes, you go two times. Yes. So, oh, if I don't go, okay. okay, one round, 360 degree, which is your 360 yeah. degree, right? Yeah. Two rounds, still pointing to the same position, right? Which is your mm -hmm. 720. So, in a way, right, in trigonometry, uh, in trigonometry, uh, Zero, zero is equal to 360 degree is equal to 720 degree. You can even equate it to add another 360 degree to it, which is 1080. You can go on and on. Depends how many rounds you want to go. Mm. Yeah. You get it now? But, yeah. That's why I think just now at the start of the lesson, Maybe no, after solving the, 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 the this part, after solving this part, theta okay, um you should be you should be looking at the sine theta equals to half, step four. So just now we talk about theta is equal to thirty and theta equals to hundred and fifty, right? You know why we only restrict ourselves to these two answers? You know what? Theta equals to thirty is also theta equals to three hundred and ninety because they point to the same position. Mm. And similarly, theta 150, you add 360 to it, theta is equal to 510. I mean, this, these two, they are the equal. These two, they are equal. But how come we ignore these two answers? Like if, you are not, if, you are, if you don't believe me, can you just uh, like, uh, key in sine 390, see if you can get half? I want to convince you. Yes, sir. Okay, can you... Can you convince yourself? Sine 510 is equal to half as well. Yeah. Okay. So, so the, the question I, I, I want you to ask yourself is why we never continue to, 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 to find out 390, 510, probably then another 360, another 360. Why we stop at these two answers just now? Oh, because like, is it like the lowest? Like a ratio. No. No. Okay. So there is this very important um concept in trigonometry. When you want to find theta is if you don't give me a range, I have infinity answers. Yeah. Why? Because because you can keep on like uh, adding 360 this. right to the previous yeah. answer right mm. okay so what we have done here right is i add 360 degree to the 30 i add 360 to the 150 in fact i can add 360 to 510 i can also add 360 to 390 in fact i can go on and on and infinity and why we stop at the first two it's because actually we are not supposed to stop at the first two because this question has no range right mm. so the key why we stop at the this two answer is because usually the range given is zero to 260 degrees Usually. Oh. Usually. So that means, hey, guys, I only want to I only want to talk about one round, okay? You don't you don't keep going round and round and round 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 round. No. Yeah, that's that's why in like the question they say yeah. that 
zero the theta is more yeah. than or equal to zero and less than or equal to three sixty. Yes. So why they give you the range? With the understanding now? Why they give you the range? Yeah. Why? Because is they want they don't want the us to go infinity. Yes. So <laughs> the they, answer is yeah. unlimited. Yeah. Okay. So the range is given to you because because if there was no range, then there is infinity answers, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. Okay. So now I hope you understand. Oh, how come they, they give me a range? What if they don't? So, yeah. so wait. So if they give you the range as mm. 0 to 180. Yep. Pretty good. Yep. So they can, they can give you any range. Actually, they can give you a negative range. So they can give you mm. like, oh, I want negative. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So if they give you negative 360 to 0, right? You know your 30 and 150 are wrong. They are wrong. Because your this 30 and 150 never fall into this range. Okay? Yeah. Okay. So do you know you can plus 360 to the 30? You know you can also minus the 360 to 30? They refer I mean they, they point to the same position. Do you know that? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Based on the concept. And the concept of what? They point to the oh. same position. Okay? Mm. Mm. So you get minus 210. Can you convince yourself by key in sine negative 230? See if you get half. Yeah, I do. Can you convince yourself sine minus 210 is it's half yeah it good is. so that means uh that means if you find out your answer 30 and 150 this might not be your answers this might be the first step to get yeah it can be wrong but it's the first step to get the right answers it depends on the range given <laughs> You understand me? Yeah. Actually, right, when the range is given to you, right, okay, what they want from you is, hey, I know you have an infinity of answers, but with the range given to you, I want you to kind of like circle that particular area of your infinity of answers. Okay, if you look at it as like something like this, like a universe, okay universe oh this is my universe of answers like infinity right so now i give you the range i give you the range so i want you to pick from here only out of your universe of infinity answers okay you understand I see. you understand yeah. you understand yeah. so that's the reason why i say 30 and 150 they are probably the steps the first step to get the answers okay depends on the range given like example here i want this range minus 360 to zero so your 30 and your 150 they are not the answers okay so the answers are you need to minus 360 so the answers are this two given so this if range for, so if for example for this question yeah the sign mm -hmm. uh, the, the sign mm -hmm. theta mm -hmm. Uh, equals one half, mm -hmm. and then the range is yeah. uh, negative zero to one eighty. Oh, zero to one eighty. Okay, then, then, then. So then, mm. that means this answer is acceptable. Acceptable, yes. Because yes. it's within yeah. uh, correct. So in a way, you give me the range. Oh, you give me the range zero to hundred eighty. Yeah. So I just circle this part, huh? right? Mm. But just now I give you three hundred sixty to zero. Then you need to circle this part already. You know. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay, good. So good. So now let's go back to the negative one. So um so for this negative thirty, I like to play with positive uh uh numbers, right? So I play with three hundred and thirty. Okay? So if you have three hundred and thirty, which is also negative thirty, which I explained why already. So what do you think? Three hundred and thirty is in which region? Three hundred and thirty. 
Cosine. Cosine. Okay, good. So now I put the 330, which is here. I put the 330. I put it theta is equal to 330 is equal to 360 minus mm -hmm. alpha. So in this case, that's oh. how you get your alpha. Alpha equal to 360 minus 330. So alpha equal to 30 in this case. Wait, so can I equate this? Like the... Mm -hmm. Theta equals 330 also here, right? Nope, 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 nope. Why you pick cos? Oh, because it's in cosine quadrant, that's so why. So basically, you probably, if, if you, okay, let me just write more. So it's 330 is in the cos region or quadrant. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so you cannot anyhow put the, 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 the angle into any quadrant. Mm. Oh, I understand. Okay, so that's why I, I put it here, and then that's how I get uh, the alpha. Okay, once I get the alpha, okay, I can choose theta. I mean, this is your theta 1, then theta 2 is 180 plus the alpha, which is 30, so it's 210. Okay, so similarly, you can conclude that, oh, my answer, okay, theta 1 equals to 330, then of course theta 2 is equal to uh, 210. This are just the first step to get the answers it depends on the range so like i say usually the range is 0 to 260 so if the range is 0 to 260 okay so these are the two answers because you can try minus 260 to it for both you can also add 260 to it to, to both it they are out of the range. range. They are out of the range. Yeah. So that's why you don't consider them. Okay? Yeah. Okay? But if they give you 0 to, 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 to 720, uh, ah, then you probably need to consider the plus 360. Mm. As well. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Alright? So that's yeah, how you but, solve this. Yeah, but this one, in this case, is... 0 to 720 is yep. still acceptable. Yep, so acceptable. So you have theta 1, theta 2, and then probably theta 3, and then probably theta 4. Okay, you have to find out the answer to see whether they are in this range or not. Okay? Okay, good. Mm. So you know how it works now? Yeah, mm. yeah I know how to work the 10.1. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I, I don't know I don't know where it's 10 by 1, but... um. With this understanding, right, oh. I have covered, um, I think, 30% of this chapter. Okay. Okay, 30% of this chapter. Okay, so let me go back to your word and see um, what else we need to talk about. Of course, you, if you want to read up on your, your this, um, your this uh, word, uh, you can go ahead and uh, read it up. But uh, to me... Um, it does not it does not matter okay you don't you don't need need it to um you you you, you have gotten the, the the basic and the fundamental concept already it's good enough for you to solve questions already then all this nitty gritty okay. stuff then uh, of course you go back and read okay questions okay page seven of um nine so yeah like second half of the lesson please use your stylus i mean your apple pencil so you need to use your uh, page 7 is not loading. Okay, loading, yes. Okay, so question, uh, page 8, uh, page 8 is just, yeah, they keep, can you, can you look at page 8 of, are you looking at, can you see the page 8, 11, A is cosine theta equals to 0.5? Can you see that question? Cosine you repeat it, cosine theta? Equals to 0.5. Oh, okay, yeah. Never mind, I can just... Okay, there is a very good um, function here, is extract. extract. Extract page 8. So then we are on the same page. Okay, I have extracted it mm. out. Can you see? Yeah. So yeah, the f see this is cosine theta equals to half. Yeah. Ah, so basically, they give you the range. Can you see? Okay, so this is the range. So all the questions here, all the questions here, right? You just have to yeah. use the, 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 the this this. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay, but I want yeah. to I want to point out. Uh, wait. I I hope you can see. O over here is theta, 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 and then this one is also theta. But hey, J K L. They are not theta. They are theta minus something. How do you deal with this then? Uh, when you um. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me go to one question, similar to this. Okay. Then you should apply it. I'm not going to solve one of the questions. I'm going to give you another one. So what if I give you instead of theta, which is simple, I give you two theta plus. Um, two theta plus, maybe thirty theta. It goes to half. Is half good? Uh, no, I, 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 I want to, I want to make make life easy for me. Okay, it goes to one. Okay, good. So, what's your first step? Find that is it positive. Correct. Okay, good. So, step one, sign positive. Positive, right? Positive one, right? Mm -hmm. So, decide the quadrant. So, sign positive, what quadrant? Sign positive is uh, all quadrant and sign quadrant. Very good. All and sign. So the formula for yeah. all is formula for all is theta equals to alpha. Very good. And then sine is I think one eighty minus alpha. Very good. Okay, so you have to theta. memorize them. Okay, so uh, what's step three? Step three, uh, must use calculator to. Very find good. Oh, how come you, how come you get it so fast? Because I've done this at school. Oh, sorry. Okay, calculate. Yeah, yeah, but it's okay. So, uh, so it, okay, in this case, right, in this case, okay, what I'm trying to tell you here is this. Here is 2 theta plus 30, right? Okay. Mm. So you should see this 2 theta plus 30 as one whole thing, one block. Okay. So in okay. a way, you use calculator, right? The, 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 the way you do it is this. Whatever they give you over here is two theta plus thirty, right? You just equal, equal to, to sine, sine inverse, inverse one. One. Okay, and then you just oh, continue you two theta plus answer. thirty is equal to. Because wait, we do ninety. Okay, good. Hold on. So they do ninety. Wait, 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 wait. Then... This is the most important part. Uh, this is the most most important part. A lot of students they get it wrong. Okay. Don't, don't go and find theta first. Don't. That's the reason why I want to, why I want you to see this as one whole thing. Okay. Don't rush, don't rush to find theta first. Okay. Don't rush. So now, ask yourself, your 90 degree is which region? Um, uh, it is, uh, it's the border. In this yeah. case, it's the border, right? Yeah. Okay. So if it's in the, in the border, I think you can consider it as the A region. Okay. Okay. So then you put okay. in theta is equal to alpha is equal to ninety. Oh, so the basic goes to ninety. So you just so your theta two here is equal to one hundred eighty minus ninety. So it's also ninety. Okay. So you only have one answer only. Ninety. Okay. Mm. So far so good. Okay. okay, good. I realize this question does not give me what I want to tell you. So I want to change it a little bit. I don't want to get okay. one. Can you help me out with what if this is uh, point 0.8? Point 0.8 is 53.13. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Huh? So let me change the question at point 0.8. So sine uh, inverse point A is what? 53 point? One three. One three. So like I say, don't rush to get 53.13 minus 30 divided by 2. Don't, don't, don't do it. See it as a block. So if you see it as a block, your this uh, 53.13 should be which region? 53.1 is A. Okay, A region. Very good. Hold on. Huh? All, all regions. 
so theta is equal to alpha is equal to 53.13 right then with this then i think you can get your theta 2 which is equal to 180 minus your 53.13 so what is this so this is the theta 2 right yeah Eight seven degrees Celsius. Okay, hold on. Now, then you go and figure out your theta. Okay. By the way, I, by the way, I want you to, to 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 differentiate the theta. The theta here. And the theta here. Okay. The theta we use for the formula is is a. It's a general letter for angle. Okay? The theta here in the question is a specific angle. Okay? okay. So in a way, right? Um why why okay. So I ask you not to rush to get the theta here. Like I ask you not to do this. And then quickly get the theta, right? And then divide by 2 okay. and of course here you also divide by 2 right i ask you not to do this because you're not supposed to because over here right yeah okay over here this formula here all and the sign here right the theta here refers to which the theta here right it refers to the entire block here Oh, oh, that actually. Okay. So remember, remember the theta we use here in the formula in the quadrant is for the whole thing. Okay. So therefore, now I think you can solve the question, right? Hey, no, I shouldn't erase all. So in a way, I can actually this two theta plus thirty is equal to fifty three point one three. Okay, good. So two theta plus thirty degree because the whole thing ah uh, is equal to this one two six point eight seven. Are you clear? Mm. Okay. And now, hold on ah. Uh. Then you go and solve for the theta in the question. So the theta here is 2 theta equals to 53.13 minus 30. Then of course you divide by 2. So theta is equal to, the first theta is equal to this. And then the second one is 2 theta is equal to 126.87 minus 30. Then of course you divide by 2. So this is your theta 2. Okay? Uh, okay. Okay. Alright? Okay. So what's the answer? Can you give me the answer? For the bottom one, mm. this one is 8.458. 8. 458? 8. 8. Yep. Cannot oh, be what? Wait, wait, wait. 2.1145. Wait, wait, wait. 100, 120 minus 30 is about 100, 100 divided by 2 is about 50, you know? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, wait, I divided by 30, sorry. You can't... It's 48.435. I don't have a calculator, but this kind of, um, this kind of error can't fool me, okay? Okay, never mind, just 48, okay? Uh, about 48 okay. what about this uh, uh, okay so these are the two answers of course it depends on the range okay okay mm. a lot of students they say hey the range is zero to 260 degree, right? Okay, probably I should, should not confuse you with theta, so I should use 2x here. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. 
you change the question because I think generally they don't want to confuse you also okay 2x so 2x 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 okay good so a lot of students right they, they say right hey since the range is 0 to 360 degree you know what they do I need to add 360 degree to this I need to add 360 degree to this and see if they are still in the range okay yeah. In the... But I don't think they are in the range anymore. But wait, you need to have this habit of checking, you know, because you if you if you just assume that, I mean, it's just like you 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 know not. It's important to have this. I need to always check. Okay. Mm. You understand? You know, yeah. for me, ah, uh, whenever I get an answer, ah. Uh, I will also always check. I need to add a 360 to it. I need to minus a 360 to it and see if they fit into the range or not. You don't, you don't, without, without doing the addition, without doing the subtraction, and then you straight away, no, 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 they should not be in the range. Or you, you tell me like, oh, uh, they are not in the range. The question I ask you is, have you checked? If you have not checked and you tell me they are not in the range, not a very good habit. Okay, so the good habit to have is always check the range by adding 360 to it or by subtracting 260 to it. Are you clear? Okay. And by the way, you are not yeah. supposed to add the 360 to this X. Yeah, because only in the range. Huh? Okay, by the way, this should be X. This should be X. So this is X1 and this is X2. Are you supposed to add the 360 degree to the X? Uh, no. Okay. It might not matter. Okay, it might not matter. That means that it might not uh, um, it might not get your answers wrong, but mathematically it's wrong. You are not supposed to add the 360 degree to the X in this case. Oh. Okay, you are okay. supposed to add the 360 degree to this. To this. And to this. And figure out the X. Okay. Re remember what we said? We can add the 360 degree to the theta. The theta. We cannot add the 360 to the to the to the x here. Okay. Okay. So in a way, right? It might, like I say, it might not affect the answer, but you can. All right. That's why I I say you need to see this thing as a as a block. 2x plus 30 here, 2x plus 30 here, okay? I, I, I know it's, it, it's kind of like hard to, 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 to accept um, why I must add the 360 to the block but not to the x. Okay, it's okay when, when we encounter a question that can challenge this idea, then I will talk about this again. I don't have the question in hand right now. So when we face a question that challenge this idea, then I will talk about this one more time. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. So with this, I think we can take a brief break and uh, we come back. Okay. Okay. Good. Mm. So see you in a while.